Well, one thing Willie did. So no doubt that moment would have been greatly appreciated by Willie's family and friends, the Thomas Sevens, paying their respects to Willie Lossay. And here come their opponents now, who respectively allowed Tonga to go out onto the field. Sioni Tupo, the Tonga captain, they've played a lot of Rugby Sevens of late at the Commonwealth Games and at the, the Challenger Series. Kenya, Coms Games as well, they were led by Nelson Oye. They're missing a few big players, no Alvin Osieno, no... Nelson Oyu and Kenya, hugely motivated to get through this winner-takes-all qualifying match, day one here in Cape Town. And it will be Kenya who will get us underway. They're left to right in their green shirts. That's been knocked back on their side, but a little knock on the floor there. Chris Dry, former Blitzbock. It's been a long, long time since we've seen them at the Rugby World Cup of Sevens. That's been turned over at the lineup by Kenya. Onyala did really well in the middle. Oliech flings it over to Anya again. Keeping possession really well here. The Shuja, Pride as they're known, Herman Humwa now. William Bucker used to play rugby for Western Province here in Cape Town. Beats the tackle, scores in the corner. And that familiar sight wearing those goggles has got Kenya up and running in the mother city. As we just go back, Kenya using the full width of the field. And look at this, the end out, and I'll get me a fiver. Yeah, he's a real handful, isn't he, when he gets up and running with pace and power. Just left Tonga defenders in his wake there. Conversion successful as well, so... William Bucker and Kenya come away. No? There's just the okay, trainer left on the field at the moment, so referee Adam Lill is making sure the field of play is clear. Back underway, Kenya leads 7-0, the early try to William Bucker. Remember, they've been a core nation since the Sevens World Series began back in 1999. Anya, hot stepper for a, a tall man, lays it on a plate. There's Mbaka again. Omondi now, looping pass over the top. Tonga have to doing a huge amount of defence at the moment. It's going to be emptying the tank. Bright sunshine here at Cape Town Stadium. Here's OU, Nelson OU, just a slight delay. Saw the gap, hit the accelerator. Oh yeah, OU. As we just go back, look at the stepper, the dancing feet. He sees the space right through the middle and puts his, his team further in front. Yeah, just perhaps a little mix up on D there from, from Tonga in midfield. Just a bit of over chasing, perhaps. Kenya uh, Tonga missing one or two two of those tackles and putting putting the, the defensive line under pressure, you know, and, and you have to look after that line uh, and you have to be secure in that line. Now, Mike Friday took them the fifth in the world Crouch. overall on the series when he was head coach of this Kenyan side. Bind. They're looking to close out Set. this first half now with more possession and pick up some more points. It's been a composed, professional start from them. Oli Etch again over to Anya. He's been a handful. Looks for the inside ball. Oli Etch just can't hold on to it. He's gone forward. There's a bit of mischief going on in back play. We carry back on. It's a kick chase for Tapu Elu Elu, but getting back is Nelson Oyu for Kenya, right in front of his own trial, and he will just boot that ball over the end line, knowing that it's seconds out. And we will go to half time. What the Tonga team, you know, they want to get a little bit tight on defense. I think they want to come together and say, guys, let's, let's look after the closer channels. Kenya boys are a handful at the moment, but every game counts, and uh, we will see what happens in those next ones. Work to do for Tonga, running left to right, in red. They kick long, William Bucker, who opened the try scoring, is back there with Herman Humwa, who just dinks it gently over the top to Samuel Oliech, inside to Humwa. Remember, this Kenyan team are playing without 
three of their big guns, Daniel Tabu, Bushamwale, Alvin Otieno, all unavailable for this tournament. They've been crucial for them of late. Tackle. But so far, so good with two maximum scores. A little show and go from Oli Yech and over to Mbaka again. He runs clear. He's just tapped to the floor. William Bucker looking for his second try. Finally, Tonga get a penalty at the breakdown. They go quickly. Samasoni Asi. And another decision goes Kenya's way. This time it's Herman he Humwa. Him, he was always retreating. With his hands in the cookie jar. It just feels that Tonga could have got that ball. In the wider channel, give himself a crack on the outer edge. Kenya, all quite tight in that channel. Okay. Yeah. Crouch. 35 years Fine. of age these days. Collins and Jura. Haven't seen him in action just yet, but his experience will be so crucial, won't it, for them this weekend. Omondi to Oli Edge. Oriambo. Throw through the. The 100 try barrier recently on the series. He's behind Collins and Jira all time. Collins and Jira has 270. Guys, I'm happy they were, they were retreating fine. Oh, you. Got him Bucker with him. William Bucker looking for his second score. Gets the handoff going. Almost there. A meter out. Oh, you's there as is Odiambo. Kicking out of the ruck. Quick tap from Onyala. Hold on. He's been held up over the line. Scrum. So good defensive work from Tonga, but just under so much pressure here, aren't they? Back at home, we used to call that the five meter club. Time off, so. Number eight, sub. Yeah. Collins and Jira throws the line out. And here he is again. So adaptable that Jiri can play in the nine position and out in the wing in the centres. And this is nice out to his old buddy Nelson Oyu, who won that Singapore Sevens title with him many moons ago. Jeffrey Olawatch is getting involved. He's on Yala. On Yala just puts the foot down and will seal this one for the Shuja Pride. Kenya have put on something of a masterclass here in the qualifying game against Tonga. That's what makes this Kenyan team just so good. You know, they can defend, they can run, they can offload. As you just take it back, look at the hits going in. You know, he bounces off one, bounces off two, and sends it out with a great finish. Yeah, what a sight that is. Vincent on Yala. He's been lively all game. Absolutely deserved that score. Brilliant high motion for you. Watching the desperate efforts of the Tongan defense, but they have come up short here against Kenya, who are looking good. And we'll go through to play Argentina in their round of 16 match this afternoon. Kenya have beaten Tonga by 21 points to nil. Here come the sides right now. Nelson Oyu and Jamie Fonda will lead them up. Well, the last time they played at a Sevens World Cup, Kenya led 26 points to nothing, only to lose an extra time, 31. The last game, not where they want to be, but they know they've still got chance to represent their country. Sadly, for many, perhaps not many more opportunities. Kenya kicking off Samuel Oliech from right to left in the men's challenger quarterfinal. And that is an error from the start. He's not happy with that one. Oh, head shake from Molich. Many teams choosing to take the scrum. So Scotland have been really building. For them, their program ends after this World Cup. Becomes part of a GB setup. Still a fair few TBCs around that. But any Scottish fans watching on. Last time for a while they'll be seeing the thistle on the chest of these players. Fines! One of those stars, Kaleem Barreto, Set. scored the seventh try of the Steady. year. Farndale was involved in version of the game. Farndale is like that. Great to get the analysis of former England Fines. sevens captain Rob Vickerman. I'm Dallas Stanford and welcome wherever you're tuning in for this brilliant eighth edition of the Sevens World Cup. But Mondi goes quickly and gets it to Nelson Oyu. Oyu against two Please, would-be tacklers. Billy Odiambo, future president of Kenya. 
As he says to us on his bar sheets, gives it to Vincent on Yala. Now they come up the middle. Herman Hamwa gets them revving. And the Shuja Sevens get their crowd on their feet. That's quality from Hamwa. Imagine being the next person on the conveyor belt to take the fame number eight shirt for Kenya. Andrew Monday's worn it for so many years. And that is typical of Monday style for a man creating his own impact in the game of sevens. Hamwa. Traditional number eight line of rugby might be sevens, but that's a decent outcome. And how about the dive? <laughs> Feet over chest, and look what it means. They are so brilliant to watch. At any stadium around the world, you'll see thousands of kids just don't do what I did and go missing for three days. It was a brilliant party that's a, that's one thing for sure as Scotland though get this off the restart Harvey Elms goes wide they get there on Lee Jones veteran 34 years of age Barreto just too much in front of him Bondell gets missed the bounce ball skips up on this turf and it's there don't lift knocked down Fine. finally comes away with Paddy Kelly it's all a bit messy finally Barreto has it for the Scottish side. We'll count near their own goal line. Whooped wide. Matt Davidson goes to Lee Jones. Odiambo throws him out of bounds. Ball stays in the field to play. Finn Callahan. Again, it's Barreto trying to lock up space, and that one again, not accurate. And the underpinning of their game yesterday, Scotland, were those unforced errors. I think it at the tennis terminology. Errors happen, of course they do. It's a bit of a wobbly ball. Kelly gets one hand to it just out in front of him. It's the pass that's just not no, quite right. Wait on your side side. Yeah. You can't gamble yeah. that close to the line to let it go across yeah. you. So he has a go. And this is grade A position for Kenya. Yeah. The tightness of their back line suggests they're not going to go too okay. wide. And you try and Grouch. stop a Kenyan flying at you from five metres. Brilliant tactical game last time they met. Set. It was in LA two weeks ago. Kenya won 20 points to 10. Mondi. Open side, Oli Edge, lovely ball. And the future president is in, Billy Odiambo. Billy the Kid has the second try for Kenya. Well, he's starting his campaign try way out in Cape Town. OK. Get the posters, um, mate. Well, just get the comps to turn me up a little bit, because you're very quiet. Yeah. Nice flip to the blind side, two on one. The step in and the slip both combining for weak Scottish defence. That won't be nice viewing for Davison later on. Their own biggest critics, these players. <laughs> if those not a big five, is it? I don't know. Find! Well, 12 0. Set! Scotland. Steady. Have possession back with me. Camped in their half. Barreto goes open side with Lee Jones. And a bit of work down there is Matt Davidson. And to the breakdown comes Reese Cullen off the bench and the penalty for off, him. Barreto has to get is going get their first score in this game the winner faces England later today find out goes up against a couple of tacklers as Barreto reloads for the next wave of attack for Scotland on the front foot Davidson Cullen steps in and all over it is Nelson Oyu he goes quick for Kenya Hamwa the African side throw a lovely little dummy there from Vincent Onyala. He was excellent day one. Onyala has got the legs. And Kenya roaring again. Well, there's his embrace of the end goal by William Backer. The signs are out. And that was just grit personified. The turnover was key to it. Oyu, the skipper, put his head down to the dark. And then a couple of phases later, Look at this chase, four on four, Barreto feels like he's falling for 15 metres, gets burnt on the outside by Onyala. And that is looking like a healthy lead to finish off this half for Kenya. Vincent Onyala made his debut, he was here.
Never going to hear him shout, get angry, aggressive, and it's over to the Kenyans to instill that passion that's inside of Local type. And they trail 17 points to nothing against Kenya, who received this. William Bucker goes up. Big William Bucker sets off. Oh, what a powerful fend and take off the restart. And the farmer has them on the front foot. Kenya, big hit coming. Floated over the top to Hamwa. Scored a great try in the first half. From when Hamwa wrestles, Barreto, and still going. The power and the strength of these Kenyan forwards. Amondi shifts it away. Billy Odiambo. What a ball. It's been knocked down. Danger time. Paddy Kelly's gone for that one. Two minutes, you'll know it. This is ace, isn't it? Vin the joint most on, number of returning place. players from Crouch. four years ago at the last Sevens World Cup. And that experience, six of their players played at that event. I do feel as though with Point. that, we talked at the start about the nature of Sevens, how many opportunities Set. Kenyan players have in this shirt, and that will definitely mean something to them in the later stages where it hurts. Nelson Oyu, man out of Nairobi University, goes straight through. Nelson Oyu, it's a captain's try for Kenya. Casual stuff from Nelson Oyo. So many times his name has been adored. The headline act. Star of the show when they won their series victory. And here he goes on that outside arc. He's so hard to stop. His leg speed is ferocious. Frenetic style. Cullen and Elm sliced. Kenya looking resplendent here in Africa. Well, he's done it so many times for his home club in a Kuru RFC site and here on the big stage. The Rugby World Cup 7's 24. Physicality, Damien McGrath's background in rugby league perfectly aligned to 7's rugby and they're looking really good in this challenge quarter-final. Scotland unfortunately just capitulating, these errors really coming at bad times. Six carries, 21 passes, they've had possession, just not doing enough with it. And it's always the underpinning factor of how Scotland like to play. Width, width, build possession. But it's just that Come little on, bit, a line break they need to get them over. And we've not seen that. Saying oh, that, their best asset, okay, Femi Sofolari. He's had limited minutes with um, ball in hand. Just a little bit closer. A little bit closer, please, yeah. Yeah, Scotland back to the full conference seven. Both sides played two games already. Scotland beat Jamaica yesterday, 24-7. Yeah. Lost to New Zealand Point. around a 16 by 43 points to five. Where Set. Kenya took out Tonga and lost to Argentina, 22-7 in the round of 16. Great vision, vision there of, of Mondi. Out of Yumbo, Billy the Kid, as he's known. Gets a lovely ball back to Amondi. Oh, you in there as well. Penalty for Kenya. Back to no, the Touch. Looking to try and get his hands on the ball. But at the moment, he's enough to do some defending. Right in the corner. Sharp stuff. Nearly hitting the hot desk. Lovely Let's kick and touch. Five Just out sure now. Right That'd be a good challenge, wouldn't it? If you try and hit the top desk. Come off, please. We should go Set. put some people in there first. <laughs> <laughs> you saw the camera guy got hit in the head Come earlier this morning. Right on the bonds. Tony Amondi from good. the Mwamba Tom Rugby on. Club. Looking to get it around from Hamwa. Release now, and they hit the ground. Blue. Told to release as William Bucker. Hold. Deals it away. He's cut and flies up on Tony Amondi, the 27 year old. So last thing on. And he's tracked, but here comes Vincent on Yala with a big dummy. On Yala, root of one. Ducks down. Still drives the legs of his. Kenya looking fantastic in this clash. Billy Oriambo. He's wrestled to the ground by Callum Young. Half step, half step, half step. Oliech to Ambaka, just the direct route, the ball is up now. Oh, Barreto again, their skills coming to play, brilliant stuff, and the dish also for Scotland, looking to open up here on the outside, and it's a social media guru, Harvey Elms, chased by Nyala, oh no, there's no retweet, not even a like. I'll tell you what, mate, I'll press the heart button on that tackle, unbelievable I'm stuff, the ball. we've seen some tracking down, here in Cape Town, but that is one of the best. Barreto, you expect to see some 
Audacious skill set. Suing, he'll hear the footsteps and then the manager to turn him backwards. On the far post. That's a mixture of rested and rugby all in one. Brilliant skills again, Barreto. <laughs> a one man show. You've, you've rolled but on he the had ground. the extra roll. Rolled on the ground. Ah, but if you're running that quick, you're going to roll. So true. Collins and Gerrard on the field now. The great man. Played in World Cups in 09, 2013, 2018, and now 2022. What an unbelievable stat is the Kenyan legend. Entry. Will be his last Entry. weekend. Or so he says. We'll see what he's up to in four years' time. Oh, yeah, no, no Still subs. a little bit unknown. No subs. 24-5. They will play England, 6 p.m. local time, in the semi-final of the men's challenger side of the competition. Oh, the young bow hit hard. Never in control. Scotland with a final Off save. No, you've taken it five metres. It wasn't the loudest no, no, blow whistle, but it's still I'm a yellow give card. The new mark. I'm going to give the new mark. I can't. Okay. Scotland, Reese Cullen, Harvey Elms. It almost had that try, but then Yala stopping him. Goes wide. Pretty Elmsley's there. This is Callum Young. Another quick tap for Scotland to finish off this game. Reese Cullen cuts back beautifully. And then duck 24 points to five. Kenya, well, their crowd, they will be ecstatic. Win or lose, they're going to be cheering. But it's just that much better. It is, and that's exciting in terms of the fans. And seeing their men progress, they're going to get a little bit more noise. Representing. He's looking for the space, making it difficult to get up not too high and and make it contestable england doing very well taking off that that position crouch find set well you saw willie ambaka's goggles we had a mask in the last match for uruguay several england players arriving at the line together it's tom emery who takes the brunt it's just going to go back the other way. Nice little dance there from Ethan Waddleton. Now they're hitting it hard. A little late across to the Kenyans, but they get there. Bones wrapped up. And penalized. A little frustration from him there. He thought the support players had done enough. Uganda to be playing on their home continent. Okay, what a yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is like a home tournament. The Kenyan fans are out and about. You'll hear them. They'll be singing throughout the whole weekend. Well, they'll be a bit louder if they can get a score here. They're currently down by one to England. It doesn't take much to get those fans going. Lamondi's on it. Credit the English players. Now they're trying to hold them up. Offload before the tackle was completed. William Baca, that's what the 32-year-old does so well. Advantage, advantage being over. played. In fact, it's been given up. Oh, a bit, quite a shame. He would have taken it then. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. 2005. Mitchell goes with the flow. Backwards. Pass is a little high, but the ref said it's backwards. And Kenyon said, thanks very much. We'll take it and start our attack from here. Sam Olio. It's a loose rock, but they get it away. Mbaka straight up, north to south. It's what he does best. He's fine, holding on. Good compete from England. Well, neither side really able to get the edges at the moment. Two experienced defending teams. Tom Bowen's supporters run away, and Mitchell's run away, going backwards at the moment. Off the wing to pinch is Nelson Oyu, the captain. Endless phases here for England. Less than two minutes to go in this first half. Finally Bowen on the edge with a bit of width, but he has to come back in field. Very physical, as we know the Kenyans love to compete at the breakdown. Chip and chase. 
for himself. He's looking for a bounce. And it squirts away. Early. From Freddie Roddick. Look at the ball. And he got a try in that earlier victory over Scotland, one of four Kenyans to cross the line. Again, the defense is perhaps better than the attack at the moment. Scrappy Rock. Mitchell admiring his kick. Oh, pure athleticism from Johnson. Really grown. But look at this. I think if he had got any higher, he'd be touching the roof. World Cup sevens Set. action here, the challenge semi final. Balls away. Bowen tries to stop, but he's enveloped. Marks here, high tackle. Yes. Short ball. Bowen's open, but they can't get the ball to him. But dancing back to the middle, a couple of fans. He's got to the line, but can't tackle get down. Release. Six Kenyans holding him up. Oh, that's a quick call. Marks here. Clear release, number 12. England can take their time up the score line. Scrum called. And they've called the scrum. I don't think there were any Kenyans left out on the field. <laughs> time, please. Two white. Yeah, number, please. So the time English score. player is trying to get his knee on the ground. That means completed tackle. Five and 12. Yeah. And the six Kenyan players are trying to hold him up and steal the ball off. And let's see if his knee does get down. <laughs> That's a difficult one, you know, the, he, he did so well, put all his, put every single <laughs> kilogram of his Try down, one, you know, and I wouldn't want to be in. Play on. Last 20 seconds here, no. and seems relentless, but England have their hands on the ball again, and now they're just playing for fun. You've got to credit England's work at the breakdown, Holding although on. they get penalized, but they've been really good against that pressure from Kenya you know they'd be working so hard. this is the England side we're used to seeing you know they'd always be at that breakdown get the ball out they were so no, one, smart one. control here, the game please. well and that's what they did today yeah great point Edmonton, yeah. well this is just to give their fans something to shout about at the end nearing the late stages of day two here in Cape Town We're into the pink numbers, that means the next stoppage will do it. A big carry there from Wakesa off the bench. Kenyans looking for their first score of the day, of the match, sorry. And the crowd are urging them on. England, a rare missed tackle, but they've got enough support there. Boyu's going to move it wide. Well, looking to create anything. Olindi hits the hard line, that ball in one hand. Goes back to Anya. Now some urgency. Such a shame Kenyans haven't been able to get through into space. And Tommy Bones picked it off. When, they, when one gets tackled, there's another one on the inside. And when he gets tackled, there's another one. And that's just great work. I don't know what happened. I wouldn't have predicted that. But they have done it. They have put 36 points up on the board over Kenya. Comprehensive victory in the challenge semifinal. And that'll do the final. In Those big players that want to try and right their wrongs. Take a look at this shot. You've got both teams aligning inside the door, ready to go. Here they come right now for the last time at the Rugby World Cup Sevens in beautiful Cape Town, South Africa. Kenya, such a powerful side. William Bucker, so much experience on their team as well. Earlier results for them. Beating Tonga, then losing to Argentina. That's how they got knocked out of the tour. Takes his time. Kibiakut with the restart. It's not as contestable as he would like. Kenya captured this one with Nelson Release. Oyu. Looking up the referee saying, trying to put the ball back, sir. Oliech shifts it away. Short line with Kevin Wakisa inside the 22. 
Kenya need to play. It's a mistake for you, rugby. The errors have cost him in this tournament. Billy Adeyambo gets a big cheer as he shifts it across field to Nelson Oyu. Good tackle coming in there from Gavin Giamora, but they pick it up on this far side. Vincent Onyala! Onyala's having some sort of tournament, and he'll gallop away for Kenya. Listen to the roar! Well, all the space on his left, he decided to have a little look. Now the shard of light on the right-hand side of the pitch, his fans loving this one right in front of him. There's the space, five metres on the right, he took it. That little pocket of support, he's just running past on the right, cheered him on. This is going to be a great shot as he focuses on the drive. And over he goes for five. Johnston Olindi with his side up by 7 0. Just open it, this middle. These two sides, many of their recent contests decided by seven Back points or less. They match up really well. Vincent Onyala, not able to get that. Lucas LeCamp, the UCLA Bruin from Southern California has it for the US Eagles. Maka Anufe, Anufe, such a slippery customer, gets it to Malachi Esdale. There's a couple of wingers next to each other. Perry Baker, mother here watching in person. Kenya, coached by the great Damien McGrath. And Bakar is used as an option, it comes to Oli Ech. Now they smash it up the middle. With Wakisa, the ball's loose. Anufe kicks it ahead, it's knocked back volleyball style. And Billy the Kid can't get this one. But Abaka has it for the African team. Numbers on the left-hand side. Nelson Oyu. The slippery eel himself gets rid of one in the fend as well. And that's a good tackle from the captain for the United States. Knocking to touch. Well, nine on nine, like that. Option. Tackle. There's a wherewithal to get back into it. And that's now he ends up with a Thomasine backpack. Let's go, boys. Look at this. Gets beaten. Here we go. Nice. Gets up. Gets on with it. Coach Kenya Sevens the rugby, to the Rugby World Cup semi finals. Now he's here with the USA going against his old side. The loop around from Thomas Seen, a flick ball to Baker, slipping around on the deck, and it's all too messy here. It will take us to half time here. We're all locked up here between the USA and Kenya. It is seven apiece. The Shuja Sevens go high. Lucas LeCamp comes up. It's been knocked by a US player. I well, love getting the insight at half time from the Huddles. And Mike Friday was talking about the simplicity, taking the ball Time's forward. Ball. This last half Fine. will be emotive and exhaustive. Sit. They'll get everything they've got. Kenya finished third in 2009 and fourth in 2013. The USA sixth Thanks last time. Much. The Rugby World Cup sevens. Billy Odiambo, Billy the Kid with OU on the angled run. No advantage. Back line offside. So a little offside play. Kenya will walk up to the mark. Ten. When you get the nine moving round. Back line was offside, sir. Yeah. Correct that natural overlap. Fine. Right Look for a bit of space on the far right. Sit. Johnson Olindy to feed. As you mentioned, options both sides, and it's OU. Looking to get on the outside, oh, you does this superbly. And boom goes the dynamite. Kenya are in and break the deadlock. Well, that's a stupid play for the Kenyans. Technically going against the head because he's got to change direction at the base of the scrum, and it's worked perfectly. This guy's acceleration off the base is fantastic. There he goes, Mako Nufe not able to stop him. He'd be disappointed with that because it's a one-on-one. -on -one. You need to make these. Just comes up a bit short. Take nothing away from how hard it is to stop Oyo in full flight. He was a member of the only time they won the title at Singapore, sevens in 2016. Nairobi University of Product gets the high fives from his teammates. They are in the lead now with that try. Version as well, 14 points to seven. Kenyan fans loving it. Speaking of Kenyan fans, are going to chance to catch up with Oscar Dennis's mom, and she did want to say that that he's got. Fine. Mike Friday without the services of Flau Nua, Joe Schrader, Kayvon Williams, Colin Isles. A lot of names missing there. So it's up to this group to make something happen here in this last game. Lucas LeCamp, outstanding fine. Out of Southern California, has Perry Baker. 
heavily marked man on the series for obvious reasons. The new fight. Played 15 to the Houston Sabercats fans. Tom Selleck, Magnum P.I. Maceo Brown, as we sometimes call him as well. The camp picks it up for the United States. Baker plays this game with a smile on his face. Thomasine goes slightly deeper for this restart. Oh, you can't handle. Kenya. One last save for them in this tournament. Herman Hamwa gets a penalty. And off they go. Oh, look at this race. Speaking of old veterans, Collins and Jera. Magic to see him on, the 35-year-old. In his last ever game for Kenya. What he has done for his country. There's nothing short of remarkable. Needs to have words with Lucas the Cap there to stop the old timer striding down like we've seen so many times. Colin and Jira just got caught, which is not something you often say. He's got the ball now. How good would it be to see him sign off with a score? Jeff Oliwatch goes across. It's on Yala yet again. The star performer. Here's Collins and Jera. Across they whip. Edmund Anya. Anya takes it into a couple of players as Hamwa again looks for numbers on the left hand side. It's good quick hands here on that far side. And Mondi and now on Yala again. And Yala is the pride of Africa. And he offloads this one to Jeff Oliorch. Kenya end on a high. Well, I hope in return for that we see a Jeff Oliotch dance we're used to seeing him. Shamefully on the wrong side of the result. How impressive is Onyala. His big, powerful, strong running. Led with the mixed studs from the first game they played when they kept stacking it midfield. Gives it to one of the best entertainers on the sevens pitch. Finished with a nice bluish with the fans. Kick will go to the side, USA will win this one, take 11th place at the Rugby World Cup. And they take out Kenya by 26 points to 19 in this contest. USA, so many young stars, 31 and 20, 33.